Hello, I'm Mr. Howard. In this video, this is part two of our look at piecewise functions and continuity. And I just wanted to do a quick video showing you how to put these things in your calculator so that you can uh, check your work and, and see how to restrict the domain in your calculator. So I've gone ahead and put this function in like it should be put in. Uh, the only uh, part that we can't really put in is this x equal, uh, pardon me, y equals 7 when x is 3 because it's a single point and your calculator is not going to plot a single point. It won't graph a single point, but everything else will show up. So uh, if we hit graph here, you see uh, this line segment comes in, uh, then this line segment, and then uh, this line segment down here that continues on forever uh, off our screen. So it, it looks just like it needs to. Now it's hard to see what I put in here. Um, so I'm going to write it out and down here and then go back in and actually put it in uh, so you can see how to type it all in. But um, what I actually typed in is in uh, Y1 I put this part so I had to put a parentheses around the function itself so I put uh, and I had to put the uh, fraction in parentheses so I actually did another parentheses negative 6 uh, over 7 close parentheses x plus 2 and then close parentheses to finish the full function okay this parentheses is just for the fraction we always put parentheses uh, around our fractions and then this outer parentheses is for the whole function itself. Then I put in a new set of parentheses and I put in my domain so I did x greater than or equal to negative 7 and x less than or equal to 0. Close parentheses. So that's all in Y1. You have to put the function and then the domain statement. Alright so Y2 I then put this function. So I put in uh, parentheses x plus 2. So parentheses goes around our function. And then I put in a new set of parentheses and I'm going to put my domain in. So that was x greater than or equal to 0 and x is less than 3. Close parentheses around my domain. And I'll show you how to put all of this in in a minute. It's under the test menu uh, in your calculator. All right, so then y3, I didn't put this in because it's a single point. Your calculator is not going to plot that, but it will plot this horizontal line segment here. So in y3, I put just negative 2 in parentheses, y equals negative 2, the function itself. And then in, in its own set of parentheses, I put the domain statement, x is greater than 3. Close parentheses, just like that. Okay, so we're going to put all that in. So when we're done, it's going to look like this, and I've got it all in there, but I'm going to clear everything out so I can show you the buttons, uh, the keystrokes that you need to take to get this in. Okay, so we're going to put two sets of parentheses to start, negative 6 sevenths, so that our slope, close parentheses around our slope, so negative 6 sevenths x plus 2. I'm going to close the parentheses around the function itself. Okay, this is a little more difficult because of this slope here with the fraction, but negative 6 sevenths x plus 2, close parentheses, new parentheses, and now I put my domain statement in. So I say x. Now here's the key. Second math gives you the test menu, second math, and you get all your symbols here. So option 4 is the greater than or equal to, so I'm going to hit 4 here. So that puts my greater than or equal to in, and it's greater than or equal to negative 7. Okay, so that part's there. To get the and, you go back into test. So second math. Go over to logic this time to the right. Choose and, the first option there. And, and now put in x less than or equal to 0. So x, second math to get to the test menu. And I'm going to choose the less than or equal to, which is option 6 down here. And it's less than or equal to 0. Parentheses to finish the domain get remember gets its own set of parentheses. I'm going to graph this real quick just to make sure uh, we put it in right. Okay, that looks good. So that's uh, this part right here is what we just graphed. All right. So now let's go to Y2 and we're going to put this one in. 
So parentheses, x plus 2. So my function goes in its own set of parentheses, right? Now a new set of parentheses for my domain statement. And I'm doing x greater than or equal to 0. The way I put this compound inequality in like this is I do this part, the left part, and then I do the right part with an and in between, okay? You can't... Um, it, it won't, it's not going to really take it like this. Uh, I've actually never tried it, but, um, well, let's, let's try it right here on the video. Let's just see if it works. I don't think it will. Uh, so zero, and then it would be second test less than or equal to would be six, option six, and then X, and then we need second math less than, so that's option five, and then we'd need a three. Close parentheses. If this works, that's much easier. Let's see. Nope. It does not work. And I didn't think it would, but hey, it was worth a try. So let's just fix this real quick. All right. So we want x is greater than or equal to second math. Greater than or equal to is option four. Greater than or equal to zero. Second math for the test. We go over to logic to get the and. So greater than or equal to zero and x. Second math less than option five for less than x less than three. Close parentheses. Graph it and it should put that little section in right here. Okay it did. That looks good. Now we'll put this last part in to y3 and we'll be done. So y3 is going to be uh, parentheses negative 2, close parentheses, it's just y equals negative 2, this horizontal line segment, new parentheses to put our domain statement in, so second math for the test menu, and actually I need to put in the x first, so x now second math, greater than, so option 3, greater than 3, x greater than 3, close parentheses, and now that should put this line segment in down here and it did okay so that's how you do that alright see you in the next video